What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers getting angry in public. Now, sometimes wrestling fans, you know, they tend to forget that these wrestlers are human beings, that they bleed, they eat the same type of food, they have emotions, and they tend to forget that and only look at them as a wrestling superstar and not a human being and they can sometimes be you know a little overzealous like maybe you know actually we've seen clips of people waiting for wrestlers at an airport to get them to sign some stuff when they're trying to get to point a to point b and like really just throwing stuff in their face so they can sign it not even really just like trying to have a conversation with some of these wrestlers and it can get annoying and it's understandable if someone tends to get angry if if one of these wrestlers get angry because they're getting treated as a as a uh item but not as a person so we're gonna check out some of these moments where wrestlers you know kind of got fed up and it's understandable and i want to put this out there to anyone that is doing this type of stuff like trying to be all up in a wrestler's face to get them to sign something for you or whatnot don't be that individual don't be that individual treat them like a person you know don't actively go out your way to get them to sign something for you or or to do some take a picture with you or whatever they're not obligated to do that you know treat them with respect and if they want to if you ask them and they're cool with it cool but don't be trying to force it on them because it just comes off it comes off cringe it comes off lame and it's kind of just you know disrespectful to them as human beings like treat them as human beings treat them with respect like you would want to be treated so we're gonna check this out should be interesting let's get right into this one man wwe wrestlers are larger than life characters and in some ways they're like real life superheroes i mean they are called superstars for a reason mm -hmm. however at the end of the day every wwe star is just a normal person like you and me and just like us wwe wrestlers have their limits yeah hey get a gosh did you get away from me please <laughs> yeah. Wrestlers have been harassed by fans and even the media, causing them to get angry. In fact, some incidents have even led to real life fights. Oh. Before we see that though, you have to see this clip of Sasha Banks lashing out at a fan. It's always good to not blindly believe everything you read online, and the legit boss was quick to put this fan in his place. While doing a meet and greet, oh, a fan asked Sasha a question, only for the boss to snap. I know that you had um, left WWE because of the creative issues, so... Um, Is that the reason? Yes. That's what I read. Oh, that's what you read. You weren't there. <laughs> so, no. So, what, what, what's the real reason? Why would I tell you? Why would I just tell you? I want to know. You ain't going to see my interview. You ain't going to read my book. Right. You ain't going to see me in the picture. I do all of that, yeah. All right, right then just wait. Yeah. Our next friend, but you are, then you just wait. I got you. Okay, cool. Thank you, JJ. Rey Mysterio Damn. is widely considered oh. one of the nicest... Bro. She cooked him. Without getting too disrespectful, but she cooked him just with the attitude alone, which is, I'm sure, understandable because he read it somewhere. And that's the thing about these dirt sheets. We don't know how true they are. There may be some truth to it. There may not be. But we don't know. So it's, it's one of those things where, you know, she has every right to say that. Like, you don't know. And I'm pretty sure she's probably gotten that question from multiple people. And it kind of gets frustrating. You know, I get it. You had a meet and greet. You want to ask certain questions, you know. But at the same time, you don't want to assume stuff because you heard online. Because at the end of the day, who knows if that's true or not. You feel me? So, hey. And she still signed whatever she was signing for him. So, that's, that's it. If that's anything, you can take that. But, yeah, she, she cooked him. She cooked them with just the, the look, the attitude, and everything. She she cooked them. It happens. <laughs> this is people in wrestling. So if he's starting to get ticked off, you know the other person is in the wrong. After getting off a flight, Mysterio was approached by a group of fans mm -hmm. in the airport. They clip. had multiple items for Ray to sign, so and the master cringe, of the 619 bro. saw exactly what they're trying to do and let them know it. They don't let us do like this anymore, so... I'm signing for you guys to make money. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. I'm Brad, I've been a fan since I was a little kid, man. The fans come up and ask for an autograph. Well, I, I actually am a fan. Back in the 80s, dude. That's why I'll sign one. I am a huge fan, man. <laughs> I signed one for you. Chris Jericho might not be the biggest wrestler of all time, but that, that shit was so cringe, bro. And and even shout out to Ray for even signing. They're coming up with the with the items they want him to sign, it because obviously they can try to sell that, you know, on eBay or whatever. And it's just cringe, bro. If I'm a big fan of someone, 
one, I'm not going to be sitting out there trying to, I guess, yeah, I, I kind of have an idea where they're going to land at or where airport they're going to be at for a specific show. Well, I'm not doing all that. That's cringe. That's lame, bro. Like, this wasn't no, oh, I randomly seen Rey Mysterio in the airport. It's, oh, I know Ray's going to be here because he has a show here. I'm pretty, I'm guessing he's going to be at this airport. Let me sit here, wait for him to get to where he's at, uh, where he's going to be at, and I have all these things for him to sign. It's lame. That was cringe. I've seen this clip before. It's just it's super cringe, bro. Just, ah, oh, man. Like, some of you wrestling fans, I, I can't really believe that you're fans, especially when you do stuff like that. that a real fan's not going to do that. A real fan well, if it happens to see him at the airport. Hey, you mind if I, well, you know, I'm obviously <laughs> taking a picture with a mate. You know, you take a picture, but posting it probably wouldn't be the best thing, even though we all know who, how Ray looks and stuff like that at the same time. It's still kind of having that respect for his culture, you know, for, for the luchador, lucha libre culture. But still, man, it's just cringe. That doesn't mean he isn't tough. Far from it. For some reason, though, people felt it's okay to disrespect the seven-time world champion. Damn. After an event in New York City, an obnoxious and angry fan decided to get in Jericho's face and tried to fight him. Despite the hostile nature of the fan, Jericho remained calm and cool and barely reacted at all. Although, in true Canadian fashion, Jericho later apologized for the incident, saying he. Uh, I was not in a good state of mind at the time. Instead of ignoring uh, a uh, pushy, aka rude fan, which is what I would usually do, I snapped. You heard, I think he, the person said, you punch me, I'll sue you or something like that. That's lame too. Don't sit up there and try to talk tough to someone and then say, if you punch me, I'll sue you. I think that's what he said. Let me go back and listen to it. I believe that's what he said. Because that's super fucking lame too, bro. Don't talk tough and then... Reason though, people felt it's okay to disrespect the seven time world champion. After an event in New York City, an obnoxious and angry fan decided to get in Jericho's face and tried to fight him. Oh, okay. I don't think he said he was going to sue him. I think he said he's going to beat your bitch ass, but I mean, it's this is uh, it, all this is really unnecessary, bro. To be honest with you, all oh, this was definitely not unnecessary. He apologized for the incident, saying he shouldn't have even acknowledged the rude individual. Ironically, when Jericho was in his home country, his reaction to rude fans actually led to a brawl. We'll be seeing that insane clip Whoa. soon. But first, someone very similar to Chris Jericho is MJF. Maxwell Jacob Freeman III is arguably AEW's most popular wrestler. The ironic yep. part is the reason fans love him so much is because of how mean he is. I remember that. <laughs> However, MJF in real life is more like his wrestling character than most fans realize. While checking into a hotel, a few fans spot the wrestler, and MJF held nothing back and actually threatened to get physical. Yo, so mad, Max? Really shows how much he cares for his fans. Vince McMahon, the former chairman of WB. <laughs> he don't care. He don't care, bro. Come on now. <laughs> and someone says shows how much he really cares for his fans. Well, to be honest with you, you know, I'm pretty sure at that time, you know, he's definitely gonna he's definitely gonna heal it up for for sure. You know, he's one of the few wrestlers out there. That will, for the most part, try to keep kayfabe alive. Um, I mean, if he doesn't want you in the elevator, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You could try. It may not go in your favor. I don't know. I, I didn't really have a problem with it. It's MJF. He's an asshole. It works. It works. So I don't know. I, I think some people have this preconceived notion that, you know, even if you're on television, you got to be nice to them or kind to them. Depending on whether you're whether whether or not you're a heel or a face, uh, MJF doesn't give a damn. 
I can respect it. <laughs> he is a lot like the character he portrayed on TV. Oh During an boy. interview, McMahon was asked about wrestlers dying young. How Vince responded was anything but professional. I would accept no responsibility whatsoever for their untimely deaths. None whatsoever. As far as, and you've got that little look on your face like, yeah, geez, I'm, I'm, Vince, how none, can you possibly none, say that? Well, but none whatsoever. I mean, they wrestled a, for you. They, they were part me, of they, your organization. They wait, worked wait. a couple of hundred nights a year for you. They oh live this oh, lifestyle. Oh, oh. oh my God, you can't, you can't believe. Oh, can you see that look? I mean, oh, how can you possibly say that, Vince? How can you look that way and you're giving me the old sympathetic stuff? No, I'm not. Stuff? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly curious. Because I told you, these individuals worked for our organization at one time. This clip is exactly why you should never try. Yep. <laughs> Vince, he's one of them people. What you saw on camera? Is nine times out of ten how he was in real life. It was just an extension of his character. <laughs> Vince don't give a damn, bro. We know that. Tried to surprise a WWE wrestler on live TV. In January 2024, oh, Ellie Knight and Grayson one. Waller appeared on a morning show to promote WWE's upcoming show in Perth, Australia. The show's manager came on to jokingly challenge Grayson Waller to a fight. Waller, though, did not find it funny mm -mm. at all. I don't think you understand. Like, if I come over there right now, we're going to have the police here because I'm not going to give you some fake punch. Like, I'm going to punch you straight in the jaw. The actual the disrespect that you have even talking to me. No, you want to talk to me like this is this, this ain't real? I got no, don't act all tough, lad. Don't act all tough. I'm get in the middle of this. You, you kick back. You kick back. Get him out of there. I don't know, man. John Cena is also. I don't know. That, that, that could be a, a work. You know, they could be working, you know, working the fans when they. Uh, or just the people in general when they did this. But I don't know, man. I don't know. He he seemed pretty serious. He seemed like he was about to pop him in his face, man. I don't know. <laughs> also considered by many to be one of the nicest guys in wrestling. However, just because he's nice doesn't mean he can't get upset. Yep. When a fan approached Cena with a this camera, too. the WWE star gently told the man no. Say again? Can you, you can't see me? Like, How about can I enjoy some time with my friends? Uh, sorry. However, this next fan interaction. And then he had the audacity to put on like Snapchat or TikTok, whatever. L. John Cena. No, bro. L. U. L. U. You're the L. You're the walking L. He's hanging with his friend. Don't. Like I said, treat these people like people, like humans. We start gently told the man no. Say again? Can you, you can't see me? Like, How about, can I enjoy some time with my friends? Uh, sorry. However, this next fan interaction did not go as smoothly. A social media personality oh, named yeah, Bodine saw the leader of the C Nation in public and began harassing him. John Cena at WWE. Isn't it? Thank you for asking. Why is that you? No, thank you for asking to take your video. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. Despite the fan's apology, he kept still, filming yep. and waited for Cena to exit the store. If you need anything, just let me know. I, I, I'm a good guy. Yeah, that's ass. Okay. You're going to use this without no. my permission. But, well, I, You're going to use I, I, all well, of this without my permission. No, but. You didn't ask to shoot. You're still filming. Oh, I man. appreciate it. Be respectful. All right. This is what happens when fans make fun of. Yeah, he was. That guy was an asshole. I've seen that clip before. He was an asshole, bro. Like. And then it'd been. He'd be feeling some type of way if John Cena took his phone and just launched it. He'd be trying to sue him. And this is why it's it's very tough for someone to just be in the entertainment industry because I don't think y'all understand like the type of restraint you have to have because you have so many corporations and other entity entities that have bought into you and and put money on you you have to kind of move like an angel at all times because someone's gonna try to upset you get some money off you and and try to ruin your reputation you know even if they quote unquote consider themselves fans. Real fans don't do that. It's kind of it's kind of scummy. Of a wrestler online and then meet that wrestler in real life. YouTuber JD from New York oh. had made fun of Ryback on social media. Later, the social media influencer was attending a convention that Ryback was also at. JD approached the former WWE star to ask for a picture, but got something completely I think different. I remember this. Oh, I'm really, really sorry, man. See, people, you publicly, you've never met me, you don't know me. You're publicly talking to me, and then you do an impersonation on your show. The that was you put out, no, but it's you. You make the decision to do it. Don't blame it on your <laughs> producer. It's, it's disrespectful of somebody else. Well, I don't think that was JD. You don't know me and how hard I work for this. And you, a guy that, you're a fan. And I want to see you do You've never done this. And you people 
like you that do this that give me a bad image. Ask anybody that knows me what kind of I'm going to have. It keeps me alive. Guys like you going to do that. Why? I would never in a million years go and disrespect another human being like that. Yeah, you got to show and be entertaining in your own way. Don't pull me into that world. But you do. It's on you. So don't say it's your producer. No, no, I got you. Be better than that. You're in a you're in a position to influence people. Don't be a this head that makes the world better, a worse place. Make it better, and you have that opportunity that you do it. I think this is Joe Sony, not JD. Oh, I'm Joe. You've never met me. You don't know me. You don't. Not at all. So I appreciate you apologizing, but you've already done calling me a pussy. People don't know that you've never met me. You don't know me. So like, it just, you being disrespectful, and there's a certain level you don't cross, and you did, just be better. I highly doubt the security guards in this- Yeah, nah, that wasn't Joe Cronin. I mean, that was Joe Cronin. I don't know why he said JD. Let me go back. Cause I'm actually subscribed to both of them, if I'm not mistaken, now, let me check. I do believe, yeah, I'm subscribed to JD and Joe Cronin for a long time before I even started doing YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I think he got this wrong. I think he may have got this wrong. In real life, YouTuber JD from New York had made fun of Ryback on social media. Later, the social media influencer was attending a convention that Ryback was also at. Yeah. JD approached the former WWE star to ask for a picture, but got something- Yeah, nah, he, he got it wrong. He actually got that wrong. That actually wasn't JD. JD has made fun of Ryback. Joe Cronin has also made fun of Ryback. Yeah, that definitely was not JD, y'all. <laughs> I think he, uh, I don't know how he got that confused. May not realize, but that, yeah, let me, for those who don't know who Joe Cronin is, if you're not familiar the with him, that's Joe Cronin. They, JD and Joe Cronin used to be cool. It's some weird YouTube beef. I don't know what happened. They used to be cool at one time. I don't think they are now as much, but yeah, that's not JD. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, he met the guy, and I mean, Ryback was kind of really chill about it. He could have been like an asshole about it, but he really wasn't. So, and there's a certain level you don't cross, and you did. Just be better. I highly doubt the security guards in this next clip kept their jobs after what happened. After a WWE show in Victoria, BC, Jericho is leaving the arena when a swarm of fans crowded his vehicle. A particular female fan was very pushy with asking for a picture. Whoa. Jericho attempted to get back into his vehicle, but when the woman tried to touch him, a brawl started. Can I just get a picture with you? Whoa. Whoa. The security guards did not know how to handle the situation, no, and Jericho they didn't. was so upset that he actually started fighting them too. Luckily, Jericho got back into his vehicle and quickly drove away, which was not only good for his safety, but for the safety of everyone in that parking lot. Now, if you want to see Jeez. the insane ways wrestling fans got themselves banned, watch this video. Bro. Yeah. Security, yeah, fire all of them. Whoever owns that security company, they, they man, I would have definitely sued them, bro, because their job is, is simple. Make sure the talent doesn't even get touched. The fact that someone was able to push up on him, nah, bro, nah, mm -mm. This is, once again, people not treating you like a human being, but treating you like, you know, just entertainment, an object, so. Comment down below, let me know, have you guys ever met any wrestlers in public and how did that interaction go? Hopefully you weren't like some of these people in this particular video, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150K and I'm still getting to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.